you're cooking a dish and then you do a taste test and you go, yeah, I think I need more seasoning, I need more salt. You add a little bit of salt, a little bit more seasoning, whatever, and then you taste it again, you're like, ah, oh, that's just right. Okay, time to eat. You're sitting there with a the patient, you're monitoring some, uh, some the patient's vital signs closely, blood pressure, pulse, temperature, GCS, you know, neurological lobes, you know, that kind of stuff. And you go, oh, okay, we need a bit more medication of this, a bit more medication of that. Okay, the adrenaline infusion is running at this. Blood pressure is sitting at around 90. We need to go up a little bit more. This is my experience with biology. You know, you don't go, okay, when the patient comes in, we're gonna start with five milligrams an hour of adrenaline uh, and that's gonna be it. No, you assess as you go along and you adjust accordingly. That's what biology is. You can't plan ahead. Um, you can make goals, but then you need to have the ability to adjust on a fly because we are dealing with biology. There are a billion points of data that it's impossible for us to account for all of them. This is biology, it's not physics, it's not mathematics, it's biology, it's a different type of organism. Uh, today I did bicep curls again. Now what the hell am I doing? Am I doing bicep curls every single day? Well, yesterday I did bicep curls and I did some squats and that was it. Uh, today I did a thousand push-ups. So I went 45 down with push-ups uh, in the morning. Actually today was quite quickly, man. I managed to do the whole thing quite quickly. You know, I started the first set at eight o'clock, did the school run, all that sort of stuff, came back, started doing some more. By the time I hit two o'clock, I was pretty much done. Um, I was pretty much done. I had a lot of things in between to do. I, I could have done it quicker. That's how more resilient I am to the push-ups. So this is great for me. After I finished push-ups, I did my squats and I thought, geez, my elbows feel a little bit, hmm. I think I need a little, bit more, a little bit more salt. I think I need a little bit of more rate on the adrenaline infusion. So I did more bicep curls. Yesterday I did hammer curls, today I thought I'd change it up and do bicep curls, as in, uh, you know, supinated grip barbell uh, curls. And that's a completely different sensation. Like, I feel it in the wrist, I feel it in a, in a different way in the forearm. I feel it a lot more in the, in, the, in the biceps, but I don't feel that radiobrachialis, that muscle that I was talking about yesterday and I couldn't freaking name. I think it's radiobrachialis. Well, a bunch of you guys said the name. It's already escaped me, figure that. Uh, so a lot of my stuff is like, okay, I want to do bicep curls twice a week. I want to do push-ups, go for a thousand twice a week. I also want to do uh, uh, squats, bodyweight squats when I'm pushing a lot, a lot of volume, uh, you know, twice a week. So this is kind of like the general vibe. Then you throw in family life, then you throw in nursing shifts, and then you kind of adjust on the fly. That's how I, my training is. A lot of you guys are asking, well, like, what the hell are you doing, man? It's, I've got an idea what I want to do, but a lot of the times I do more or I do less depending on what comes up. Days are gone for me when I have expectations every single day. Those days used to stress me out. I used to get down because this is the program. It's very rigid. I would often screw it up. And because the program is as such, what do you do with it moving forward? But when it's like this, when I'm like, okay, every day I'm going to touch the bar. I'm going to try to do something every single day. I'm okay with it because, okay, today was a bad day, tomorrow is gonna to be a better day. Because I have every single day a chance to do something, it adds up. And so I look at weekly volume, weekly sets and reps rather than three times a week or every single day, you know, every single one of those days of three. So that's kind of uh, why I did the bicep kills. My elbows felt a little bit uh, not painful, not anything special, but I felt like I needed some sort of decompression I needed some sort of flexor uh, activity of the elbow. So when you do push-ups, obviously it's a lot of extensor, you know, triceps, uh, you know, shoulder, you know, it's, it's basically heavy on the triceps. And I feel like that's what does the, the, the weird sensation when it comes to push-ups is that you're doing a lot of one thing and not nothing on the other end. So when you do a thousand push-ups, it makes sense that you should do some work for the biceps. So today I thought, okay, I got a bit of time towards the night um, why don't I add a bit of bicep curls? And I did that. And I can tell you right now, I'm sitting here, I'm feeling a lot better than I was, um, you know, when I finished the push-ups. You know, I felt all right with push-ups, but I felt like, I don't know what, what the tendon is called, but if you sit there and you supinate your grip, uh, supinate your hand, and you look at the ulnar side, so at the ulnar head, um, 
you know, proximal head of the ulna. So that tendon was quite pumped and a little bit upset. Um, so I thought, and you know, the, the, the tricep tendon, I don't know exactly which tricep head, but it's the ulna, the proximal ulna head, if you guys don't understand any of this stuff, but it's basically the, 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 the pinky side bone of the forearm right at the elbow. Right there, I feel like it's a little bit upset after doing all those push-ups. But after doing some curls, that's gone, it feels better. So it's all about balancing. And so when I, whenever I do a thousand freaking push-ups, it makes sense to do just a little bit of activation with bicep curls uh, just to even out the playing field. That's kind of why I did it. So yesterday was a dedicated bicep day. Today was like a supplementary accessory PRN for all your medical people out there. It's PRN medication. It's, it's as you need, you know, uh, the salt, the adrenaline infusion adjustments, that kind of thing. Uh, felt pretty good today. You know, uh, I've had quite a few days now, I think two or three days of feeling absolute crap when it comes to the squat. Today I felt pretty much recovered. Uh, so I did 190 on the squat today. That felt really good. Tomorrow I'm going into a night shift. So I'll, I'll sleep in tomorrow and I'll wake up and I'll wake up and I'll try and do some more body weight squats. It will probably won't be six, seven, eight hundred reps, but I'll try and do maybe 40 down to 30 or something like that. You know, 40 down sets. Let's see, let's see how much I can last. Get a bit of a pump, get out here, do the barbell, and that will be the day for tomorrow. Um, and then I've got two nights, so it's, this is what I mean, man. Like, what, what do you do, man? Like, it's, life is like that, especially as a, as a shift worker. You know, you kind of got to pick, choose your battles, how you feel, what's ahead of you with work, with family, all of that stuff. It's the same old story. Um, a lot of people don't understand what I'm doing, but, you know, the reason why I've made it so far, you know, with, you know, squatting every single day, training every day is because of the very nature of my mentality. There's no expectations, man. I've got an idea. People, you know, people asking me, is there a plan? There is a plan, but I don't get upset if the plan doesn't work out. I've got an idea how many times I want to do per week something, but it's highly adjustable. You know, um, this is the weekly volume I want to do for this. Where am I going to do it? I, I'm not sure. Depends on the roster. Depends on what's happening in my life, how I'm feeling, or whatever. So. Um, you kind of have to have something that works for you. Uh, this plan might not work well for you, but I can tell you right now that if I was doing three days a week, rigid programming, uh, I'll be missing days. I'll be missing volumes. It's going to be all over the, like I've been there. I, I was not born into squatting every day or training every day. I've tried, I've been nurse for 15 years, man. The squat every day during has been three of them, right? What happened to the previous, all those day, all days and years? I've tried a lot of different things. And after an night shift, I ain't doing a five by five on squats, man. I can tell you that. I can't do volume. What about before late shifts? Can I do a five by five in the morning before a 12, a 12 hour night shift? See? So if you're a shift worker, whatever, it doesn't matter. You don't need to follow my thing, but you need to have the, you know, develop something that works for you. Whatever the story is that you're telling yourself, tell yourself something, sell yourself on something so you get the work in. That's the bottom line. Anyway, I'm going to jump in right now. Uh, shower um, and get to bed. Basically, the whole this whole week, this is the only day I have off. Um, so I've got a lot of work in. A thousand bloody push-ups. I did some squats. I did some bicep curls. Pretty pretty productive day. But the oncoming days, it's gonna be you know. Let's see what I can do and be happy with it. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. I forgot to mention uh, what's happening with sit-ups. Man, sit-ups, last time I did sit-ups, uh, I've been wiped out. Uh, so right now I'm doing a bunch of push-ups, bodyweight squats, and bicep curls or elbow health uh, prehab type stuff. Uh, the frequency of the sit-ups needs to drop way lower. I can't do it twice a week. I can't do it three times a week. You might have to be once a week. I don't know what's going on with me, whether this is just a, a weird thing that's unique to me. They're just so taxing. Obviously, I've done, I've done too much. I did too much, you know, with the 600 freaking sit-ups. That was too much. Uh, basically, for the following three, four days, I've had trouble stabilizing my lower back. I've had trouble feeling strong. 
The importance of hip flexes for strength cannot be uh, underestimated. You know, I don't know any other exercise that I did in the past that's made me feel so weak. Uh, the combination of doing a whole lot of sit-ups and a whole lot of push up, uh, uh, squats has rendered my body useless. So a whole bunch of days I did 140 on the, on the squat, felt like 180, 190. Uh, so sit-ups, I'm puzzled what to do for sit-ups next. Um, squats are feeling good. Uh, Push-ups are feeling good. Bicep curls are feeling good. Sit-ups are feeling horrible. Horrible. Uh, so I might have to... Increase the frequency again and then drop to like 100 sit-ups twice a week. I can't do this, you know, 30 business down or 35 down. I, I, I can't do it. It's way, way too much. It's interesting. Like I can tolerate squats, push-ups easily, uh, but sit-ups are killing me, which probably screams weakness more than anything. You know, how do I have the capacity to recover every few days from the squats? You know, lots and lots of squats, but I don't have the capacity to uh, recover from these sit-ups. So, you know, thinking about uh, Mike Tyson, a lot, a lot of the MMA guys and a lot of the wrestling guys and whatever, sit-ups are like a walk in a park for them. For me, it's far from that. I am really crap at sit-ups. I just don't have the capacity to recover from them. And when you throw into the mix, my posture, you know, lower cross syndrome, whatever you want to call it, the whole anterior pelvic tilt, tight hip flexors, long hamstrings, long abdo uh, abdominals, short lower back, that whole anterior pelvic tilt, spilling water off the pelvis forward. Maybe that has something to do with why I'm, I'm so freaking horrible at sit-ups. Um, maybe it's a function of I have tight hip flexors, tight, weak hip flexors. This is why the hip flexors are tight because they're weak. Uh, and when I do sit-ups, they just absolutely get smoked and I lose function of the psoas to control the lower back and snowball effect after that. Anyway, that's, I just thought I'd mention that because I wanted to talk about that. You know, I mentioned all these other movements that I'm doing, but I have nothing about the sit-ups. What's that? Yes, sit-ups are in my mind, but I need to adjust. I can't be doing 35 down. It's way too much for me. All right, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace out.